I remember being in elementary school and I remember during uh, recess or lunch break that I would purposely run myself, try to slam myself into a wall to hurt myself on purpose because I was like feeling that bad about myself and I didn't realize it was depression or anything. When I got the official diagnosis, it made a big difference because I understood what was going on with me. I met Megan about three years ago now. Um, the first time I met her, she was actually sitting at one of our tables in the cafe unit. Um, and she was with her mom and she had just got connected to us after COVID. And she was kind of tucked in a little bit of a shell. She was really quiet, introverted. Um, and I first started working with her on goal setting. So we like to work on smart goal plans. So we sat down and went through the different areas of her life that she wanted to set goals in. So employment, education, um, and she told me that she had the goal of becoming a mental health journalist. So we started working towards that together. I just find that, that the mental health side of journalism, it's, there's always such a negative spotlight on it. Like there's never any positive news in it. So I want to kind of help the stigma of it's okay to to get help, it's okay to have a mental health, it's not a bad thing. And I find that if I uh, write articles, it'll encourage more people to want to get help instead of leaving it to the last minute and it having sometimes dire consequences. Our psychosocial rehabilitation model engages our members in the work of the clubhouse and in doing so, they cultivate relationships with other members, with staff, in the running of the operations of our clubhouse. It's a very egalitarian and collegial model. Potential Places programming has demonstrated that we reduce hospitalizations by 50% for members that attend Potential Place programming regularly. We've also improved dramatically mental health outcomes with regards to integration into employment, housing, education, and other domains of psychosocial rehabilitation. I think a lot of times when members get connected to our clubhouse, they're often closed off, kind of tucked into a little bit of a shell. Um, and the more time they spend with clubhouse members and colleagues, the more they find their inner strengths, talents and gifts. And I think that rings true for Megan. She's really come into who she is and actually has been mentoring a lot of our clubhouse members. I would say that Potential Place has had a really positive impact on my life. It's made me more confident in myself. The members made me feel more and more comfortable around them and I became more and more open about myself, like I could be more or less who I was. I want the world to know that it's okay to have a mental illness, you should learn to love and embrace it so that we can change the world for the better as you are. You decide how you want your goals to happen. You define yourself. You don't let anyone else define you except for yourself.